few of you. Okay, so here is one. If you've not seen one before, it's a credit card sized computer and uh, very affordable, uh, very easy to get connected. Uh, most of the kit and most of the equipment is already in people's homes. Um, lots of children will have TVs in their bedrooms. Not that I agree with it necessarily. Um, but it's instantly connecting to your TVs and it's got USB keyboards. Uh, it's got an Ethernet connection. Um, the power supply to it is just from a mobile phone charger. So a lot of stuff is already in people's homes. And a lot of my children have now started to buy these <coughs> devices and started to program with them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I should have said I'm a... So how does it fit with the uh, curriculum? Well, us teachers, we don't particularly like the things that come out of uh, Go, but uh, one, of the <laughs> one of the useful things that uh, Go has uh, said, and he said back in uh, Bet in January, was that um, what we teach in ICT is just not uh, appropriate, it's not suitable, it's not, uh, not relevant. And uh, we have an ICT curriculum which is built on using and consuming. And uh, I really believe that uh, children should be making and um, developing and, and understanding about how computer systems work. So one of the best things we've done, actually, is to, um, you've got to try this. You've got to set up a, a computer in the back of your classroom, switch it all on, get the screen on, and, and, and get the children to come up and, um, and use it. And then in a moment's flash, it's starting to take it apart. It's starting to take the cover off, and uh, at which point you realise you're taking the wrong computer apart. <laughs> but, um, and, and it's really about getting children to understand how and what the components are. And then you can make a comparison to how the Raspberry Pi operates. And what's nice about this one is in a transparent case that you can look at the insides. Uh, interestingly, computer science is deeply concerned with how computers and computer systems work, and how they're designed and programmed. And that's really uh, what we're trying to do in, in school, surely. So this is Raspberry Pi. We talked about that. It, what's nice is it comes preloaded with some operating uh, systems um, and development environments. It comes with Python, comes with Scratch, as we've heard uh, from Miles, and, uh, and also Squeak. Uh, that's it, looking very big. Uh, so how do we get started? Uh, we looked at input and output devices, we made the comparisons. The children then asked the questions. Uh, so how do we tell computers what to do? Um, at Key Stage 1 children, we loaded them up and took them into a Scratch environment. Um, we looked at what a computer program is, and this is a really useful quote, it says, uh, a computer program is like the narrative part of a story, and a computer's job is to do what the narrator says. Computers have no intelligence, and so they follow the narrator's instructions blindly. And, uh, and that's a really useful concept to hold on to, because then we started to develop a program as telling a story. So for our year one children, they were telling the story of how a spacecraft moves through space, and um, many of you here, um, not everybody here, but a lot of people remember this as logo, you know, and, and we taught logo back in the day, and, that, and those concepts are still very relevant today. And I thought to, um, I said to the Key Stage 2 children in the Year 5 6 group that I teach, um, I said, okay, let's get into Scratch then and let's start doing some cool stuff. They said, yeah, what I want to do is to type commands into a computer and get the computer to respond. So uh, we looked at using a development environment called Python. And just, I taught them just some simple instructions, so how to output things to a screen, how to perform math calculations. We spent a whole, almost a whole lesson on just um, putting numbers into a computer and getting an output, uh, using it like a computer. But this is really seductive stuff, because kids can see there's an outcome for what they're doing. They see that they're in control of something that they're doing, and they're getting a response. Uh, we then started setting variables, and they love setting variables, you know, uh, multiplying bananas and apples together, and uh, they could have done that to their heart's content. Uh, we talked about um, programming as, as a story, as a narrative. Well, this is a narrative of a pro computer program written in an English language, in a language that we all understand, and this is the same computer program, but written in the Python programming language. So that's how we uh, got started. And uh, we've had some brilliant programs created. Um, here's Liam, and here's Raspberry Pi. Um, rather crudely, we just connected it to a projector, and here's his program that he's demonstrating to me on the, uh, on the wall of the small hall. Uh, so what are children doing with it? They're building temperature converters, function machines, 
um, maths games, word suggestion tools, uh, and this is just the beginning. We've, we've only been doing this project for uh, the last five weeks, and uh, it's deeply empowering and deeply engaging. So that's where we are. Uh, here are the key skills, just out of interest. Uh, lots and lots of key skills from developing uh, and using programs. One thing I will just say is you must go and get this document here. Um, it's Computer Science and Curriculum for Schools. It is fantastic. It's outlined the curriculum.